The great and the good together today to commemorate the long path to peace. Is this a moment to celebrate, Prime Minister? Leaders gather in to mark a deal struck 25 years ago. Madam President, your message to the DUP? Bring in peace, but not political stability. Northern Ireland's assembly still stored. Now, of course, we meet here today in circumstances that are far from perfect. We must keep working to persuade all parts of the community that returning to the institutions is the best path. And we will do that. Northern Ireland's Secretary of State confident Stormont will be back by the year end. Yeah, I'm a glass half full guy and yes, I truly believe that. And I actually believe that their leadership would love that to happen too. But I think they, they, there's a process to take the whole unionist community with them, which is vitally important for peace and stability and prosperity moving forward. How are you? Nice to see you. How are you? Early evening and political leaders of then and now gathering for a gala dinner at Hillsborough Castle to celebrate this anniversary and consider what comes next. If there is one message from this hall tonight, one message from the people of Northern Ireland to the world, it is surely this. We will never go back. Instead, instead, we will learn the lessons of 25 years ago. We will keep working, keep moving forward, bringing everyone with us. 25 years ago, this agreement only happened because leaders were prepared to put their leadership in peril for the good of their people. Inside Hillsborough Castle tonight, the architects of the Good Friday Agreement and its beneficiaries commemorate an historic deal that brought lasting peace to Northern Ireland. But even as past political leaders celebrate their achievements, the current crop are acutely aware that they are not delivering for people here, with power sharing at Stormont still stalled and no solution in sight. The Labour leader urging the PM to help hasten the restoration of power over here. The government has not played that honest broker role in the way that I think they should have done. Now, obviously, the protocol is a step in the right direction. We supported it and voted for it. Um, and I hope that that window of opportunity to get the institutions back up is there. But it will be a matter for the parties here in Northern Ireland. The role of the UK government is to be that honest broker. Those who brokered the deal now look to their successors to protect that legacy. The first step is getting Stormont working again. The harder journey will be keeping it that way.